Let's learn about deep tendon reflexes. Reflexes are involuntary motor responses to a stimulus. Reflexes can provide important clinical information. Here's how it works. The muscle's tendon is struck by a reflex hammer. This causes the muscle to stretch. This stretch stimulus is sensed by a sensory receptor in the muscle that senses stretch called the muscle spindle. The muscle spindle sends afferent impulses to the spinal cord via a sensory neuron. The sensory neuron synapses with alpha motor neurons in the gray matter of the spinal cord at the anterior horn. The alpha motor neurons carry efferent impulses to the muscles. The muscle responds by contracting, causing the limb to jerk. There are also gamma motor neurons located in the spinal cord that influence reflexes. These neurons are influenced by motor centers in the brain and spinal cord. The upper motor neuron centers tend to inhibit reflexes. Lesions of the central nervous system can decrease the inhibition and result in exaggerated reflexes. Examples include injuries to the brain and spinal cord, such as stroke or tumors. Lesions affecting the pathway between the spinal cord and muscle result in diminished or absent reflexes. Examples include demyelinating disorders or neuropathies, such as diabetic neuropathy, herniated discs, and carpal tunnel syndrome. Muscular dystrophy can also result in diminished reflexes. Common sites for reflexes include the biceps, brachioradialis, triceps, patellar, and Achilles. We hope you have learned something about reflexes and see you next time.